Chris Grandy here with an update from my Massachusetts clients. Um, big legal decision for those interested in nursing home planning asset protection. Um, recent decision, Hain versus the uh, Office of, uh, Ma of Mass Health. Um, the Mass Appeals Court ruled in favor of the client here. Um, and in particular, this was uh, Evelina Roach. And she, um, <clears throat> uh, she had, uh, was on Medicaid getting help from the state paying her nursing home costs. And then in 2013, they rejected her application. And the reason they did was because she had a trust, an irrevocable trust, an income only irrevocable trust, or what the lawyers like to call an IIOT. And what those trusts say is that uh, the person who created the trust typically says, I can have the income, but I can't touch the principal. By doing that, they supposedly protect those assets from being touched by, say, creditors, by takes it out of the estate, by things like mass health. So, for example, in a normal case, you get sick, you go in, you go in a nursing home, you apply for mass health Medicaid help, and if you've had that trust for five years, mass health will not even look at that asset when they say, well, how much money do you have before they help you? So they're going to look at you and say, they're not going to include that asset, and they're going to base their help on what you have left over. Um, so, for example, you know, you would do this in a case where, let's say you owned a million dollar house and you had six or seven hundred thousand dollars in investments or more. Um, you know, if you're still healthy, you might put your house into an irrevocable trust. Number one, to protect the assets so you can leave it to your kids so that if after five years pass, which is called a look back period, your, uh, this asset would not be included when you apply for Medicaid. So you went to Mass Health and said, I need her help with my nursing home costs. Uh, they're going to look at your assets, and if that trust has been around for five years, then they're not even going to look at the house. But uh, a few years back, 2009, Mass Health um, in, in the Doherty case denied a claim, uh, denied an application to um, to uh, to someone based on the fact that they had one of these trusts, but they said, you know what, you're saying this is an irrevocable trust, and you can't touch the principal, but you know you know the trustee of that trust and they could take principal out of that trust and give it back to you. So even though you can't directly grab principal out of that trust, you could tell the trustee to, to take it out and then give it, give it to you. And so therefore, um, they started rejecting a lot of, of applications on this basis. So finally this year, Mass Appeals Court in the uh, Hain versus uh, Mass Health uh, um, decision um, cleaned all that up, rejected all those arguments of Mass Health. They said, you know what? Um, you know, Evelina Roach, the woman who was the basis of the Hain decision, um, she was, just because she had, you know, because she had this trust, because, just because her trustee could take principal out doesn't mean she could. So what they were basically saying was, Mass Health, Mass Health is saying, well, Mrs. Roach could, um, you know, could tell her trustee to cash out principal from the trust, not income, but principal, and give it to her later on. So she could apply for Mass Health. She could be getting state aid and help from the state, and then also getting kickbacks from her trust, you know, from the trustee, which wouldn't be right. Um, and, uh, you know, it's possible that could happen, but what, what the appeals court said was, so what? Yes, um, that could happen, but the trust says that Evelina herself could not touch principal, and that was enough for mass for the uh, mass appeals court. Okay, so if you create this trust in the past, Mass Health was rejecting people, and they were not giving people benefits because they you know you theoretically could tell your trustee, hey, cash out some of that principal and give it back to me. You know what? Sell my house in the trust, and uh, you know my million dollar house. Don't tell anybody, but give me a hundred thousand of that back so I can have I can give it to my kids. I can do whatever you know whatever I want to do with it. Um, and Mass Health was saying, no, no, that's not right. But the appeals court said, so what? If you have this indirect ability to do that, it doesn't matter. The trust says that you can't, you know, that the, that the Evelina could not touch the principal, only the income. So therefore, Mass Health could only count the income on the application for benefits, not count her principal. And it doesn't matter if she could touch it indirectly. So it's a big win. So basically, going forward, there was a lot of people in the state who had set up irrevocable trusts thinking their assets were protected. And Mass MassHealth's um, you know, recent um, opinion of these things put a lot of that in jeopardy. A lot of people around the state, moderate you know, people, people with higher net worth, people with moderate net worth are putting their houses or some assets in an irrevocable trust thinking that uh, it would not be touched if nursing home costs came around and, and they had to apply to Mass Health. And uh, Mass Health put through a monkey wrench in that, but the Mass Appeals Court 
in the late in that decision in April just cleaned all that up. So um, great news for you guys. If you have any questions about that, contact your attorney and make sure that you're up to speed on this. If you don't have an attorney or if your attorney is out of the picture, give me a call. We have a team uh, of lawyers that can that can help you as part of our planning approach. So uh, you know, just let us know. We'd be glad, have, happy to give a referral or 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 send people the right way. But uh, definitely something that you know, if you're in this position, um, have an attorney uh, examine your trust and your other legal documents to make sure they're up to speed. And uh, if you don't have anyone to talk to, feel free to drop me a note. But thanks for watching. Hope you found this helpful. You guys have a great day.